You must be cold. I'm fine. Nonsense! Here, take my coat. But we are not the cold. Oh, you cold, Mama? Here's take my coat. We don't want your coats! Here, take my other coat! Take my spare coat! Get away from us! Take my flannel! Take my windbreaker! Pea coat! Leather jacket! Rain coat! Enough! <laughs> Why are you acting like this? Perhaps they are infected with the worms that eat the brains, causing the behaviors of great strangeness. Is that it? You guys got brain worms giving you strange behaviors? There are no brain worms in us, milady. This strange behavior is called... Chivalry! Chivalry is dead. Chivalry will never die, because being a gentleman never goes out of style. Season's greetings! Hello, friend. We are two elves looking for the list of the naughties. Do you know where one might find it? Well, Santa doesn't... What is that smell? Excuse me. Oh! It is this home! It is made from the candies and the gingerbread! Oh, kitty! So cute! Come, come! No! So good! That's an auntie. Mm -hmm. Don't! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mother gave me that! Mm -hmm. No, 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 no! Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Mm. Delicious. She said she did not want to be crazy on Crazy Day, but she is the most craziest of us all. Oh, oh thank you. you. I have been called the Lord of Madness from time to time. Uh, what's wrong with them? If they haven't driven me crazy yet, there's not much hope for you. Don't give up on them just yet, Raven. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. Now, if you want me out, come and get me. Ooh, this is so mysterious. Halt! What are you supposed to be? To pass me the by and go the way. The answer to my riddle, you must say. Go for it. I love riddles. <coughs> what is running and walks with a mouth and talks and has a head and also the bed? What? Did I misspoke in the riddle? Yeah, you definitely misspoken it. I will try again. What runs with its head to its bed and a mouth is having and does not walk? Really? What has a bed in its mouth and is talking, but also not walking to his... You're starting to drive me crazy! crazy, crazy, crazy. This is a very difficult riddle. That's the point! Ugh. I'm sorry. Just take your time and try to remember what the riddle's about. Well, I... Do you even know what the answer is? Of course I do! Yeah, right. It is the river, Raven. Cool. The answer is river. You may pass. Crime alert! It's the brain, and he's up to something big. Then let us bring the pain to the brain! Whoa, 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 ladies, please, allow us. Are you serious? What kind of gentlemen would we be if we didn't handle this ourselves? Uh, the kind that treat us like equals? Aw, sounds like someone's cold again. Here, take this coat. Now that you're nice and warm, please, my ladies, allow us to handle this. Gentlemen, go! Ah! Oh! That was remarkably easy. Where are the tough ones? You mean the ladies? We handled this for them because we are the gentlest men around. They possess so much strength and good sense, it seems unwise to face me without them. <laughs> This fool don't understand chivalry. Ha! I encourage you to get comfortable, as you will be here for a long, long time. I have forgotten. We are having our own boys' night out. Uh, you're girls. Then we are having a boys' night out for girls. You mean a girls' night out? Exactly. We are. Yes, and you are not enough of the crazy to come with us. Okie dokie. <laughs> what else? Gentlemen, shall we? Ow, 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 ow! Ladies! 
What is a boy's night out? Oh, you know, they hang out, make lame jokes, eat, burp, boy stuff. Okay, see ya. But I can do the making of the jokes and having the gaseous emissions. Uh, boys need time to be boys without girls. We do not have gender-specific rituals on my planet. Tell, what do females do on a girl's night? Uh, I've never been on one. I could only imagine how horrible it would be. Then we must do the bonding ritual of females. Okay, yeah, well, you see, I was gonna watch a movie tonight. By myself. <laughs> also do not think I am enough of the crazy to devote a night of gender-specific activities with, do you? Fine, but don't expect me to bring the crazy. Do not worry. I know exactly who will bring the proper amount of crazy. We are going to have the Night of the Girls! <laughs> This is Raven when she was three. Oh, precious! She just destroyed her first universe. <gasps> Where did that little girl go? Ugh. She grew up and doesn't like to destroy universes anymore, Dad. Oh, and here's one of us torturing a demon together. He was in so much pain. <laughs> Good times. <sighs> that is adorable. Something wrong? My father never took the family photos or invited me to do the torture. Oh, there, there, princess. He may not have been there for you, but I'm here now. Thank you. He's not your dad, Starfire, and you're not his daughter. This has to stop. Are you upset he has never given you the kitty? No! <laughs> All right, ladies, let's do this. Operation Dude Rescue is a go. Ah! Or we can pause here in order to build the suspense. Well, what do you guys think? Should we take a vote? Seriously, what do you guys think? What are you guys into? Let's do it! Hello! Oh no! The long lines will prevent any of the fun! Well, we could just go home. You are such a drip. There's free kittens in the parking lot! Free kittens? Look, no more lines. Wow, you really know how to bring the fun. She does indeed. I wish to ride the cars that bump into each other. The boys were correct about me lacking enough of the crazy. You just need a little guidance. If you let me out, I might be able to help. Yeah, right. There's no way in a million years we're letting you out of that. There you go. Just remember what I said about obliterating you. Yeah. Eye beams. Got it. Now let's get crazy. Follow me. Okay, Jinx, you're up. Use a little of your bad luck to take out the security system. I'm about to get my girl's night on! Nice. Still think boys are better. Of course they are. In fact, I could go on and on about all the reasons girls are worse than boys, but I'm going to sum it up in just one word. Cooties! <gasps> You're crawling with them! We don't want your cooties! As you can see from this chart, created by a boy, science tells us that there is no evidence in girls of sugar, spice, or anything nice. What there is, is cooties. Oh, gross. Gross indeed, Beast Boy. I rest my case. <gasps> I have the cooties? No, you don't. Cooties aren't real. 
If boys are so much better, then prove it. We challenge you to a contest. Boys versus girls. Girl. Very well. It is the empty! I don't get it. They were supposed to be right here. Yes, they were supposed to be. <gasps> Fortunately, I was warned of your arrival. Warned? What are you talking about? <gasps> Tear. You fools! I finally have my revenge! It was so obvious and you couldn't see it. I mean, how long does someone have to rub their hands together before you realize they're up to no good? We just thought your hands were cold. I even made you the yarn mittens. Cute, but my hands are evil, not cold. Evil. <laughs> You're trapped too, genius. You think I care? This is a big upgrade over the trash hole. Well, you're crazy if you think we're staying. Okay, 10 laps around the island. I wish you the luck that is good, Beast Boy. You're going down, girl. It's cheetah time. <laughs> On your mark. Get set! Uh, what took you for so long? Uh. First one to solve this complex math equation wins! You are going down! Three, come out of my phone. I'm moving enough. Don't forget the factor. Done. Raven, this turned out to be really fun. I never said it was gonna be fun. Well, you hinted at it strongly. I am having the fun. Oh, shut it, princess. Hey, I don't like you talking to her like that. I don't like you talking to me like that for talking to her like that. Oh, you're all so annoying. I hope you see why I double-crossed you. Uh, oh, whatever. Oh, oh, you you I you so hey, why are we fighting? Because we hate each other? If that were true, I wouldn't have brought us together. You brought us together to save your friends. You think I care if they're locked up a couple years? They're super annoying. They can be the super annoying. It is their greatest power. The truth is, the guys were bumming me out, and I wanted to hang out with some cool chicks that I like for a change. You think I'm cool? Yeah, except for that revenge thing. I think it's out of my system, for now. This is all peaches and cream, but we're still stuck in here. Our powers might be weak individually. But maybe together. Work together? What is this, a lesson? Raven is correct. If we use our powers together, it may overload the security system. How are we supposed to work together? Like this! <laughs> what? Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> We're all going to jail. Will you try to have fun?
first time I ever rode a building. <laughs> what? I was just thinking about the look on your face when the cops started chasing us. Yeah, that was pretty... Cray-yay-yay-zy? Yeah, it was. <laughs> and then remember when we rode that building we demolished as if it were a surfboard? You've got more of the crazy than even me, Starfire. Tonight was fun. Definitely the most I've had since being locked up. Then who says the fun cannot continue? So, girls! You see that sporting event? Uh, I mean, um, do you guys... Uh, what? What exactly do you two do, anyway? Yeah, come to think of it, what do you girls do? Well, you know, I read from my spell book. While fighting an evil demon! <laughs> oh, oh, you get him, girl! Oh, you man, get him! That That's the girl! What about you, Star? Well, I make Glorbnorb pudding with the saliva of a giant clatar! <laughs> That's how we roll. Cootie free. We'll see about that. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Raven, but you are mean. It's the half demon in you. Maybe I'm not nice, but I'm not mean either. I'm neen. Neen? Uh, are we just making up words now? I can do that too. Look, I'm a real blue show kind of guy. Neen is being nice by being mean. I tell it like it is when people are acting ridiculous. That's dumb. Stop it. Everybody needs a mean person in their life, and I'm the meanest. You're being such a norbleb right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were still making up fake words. See, now you're being mean. Exactly. And you should be too. But if you don't want to, so be it. Ah! Something tells me you're about to have a nice day, Raven. <laughs> What's so funny? I made a pun that will make sense to you later. Maybe we'll share a nice laugh about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, fellow Titans. I did not know about the yawns. It's all right. No, friend Cyborg, it is the all wrong. This is not the first time my ignorance of Earth culture has ruined the merriment. This new stereo is the bomb! The bomb? It's time to break dance. I will forever be the celebration ruiner. Star, we love you just the way you are. Besides, the more you know, the bigger bummer you are. Like Raven. Whoa, I'm not a bummer. You're a total bummer, Raven. Look at this chart, and you'll see there's a direct correlation between knowledge and being a bummer. Here's Beast Boy and Cyborg. Together, they know virtually nothing, and everybody loves them. Thanks, man. Aww. Here is me. I don't know too much or too little, leaving people not feeling very strongly about me one way or another. Hm. And here's you, Raven. You know a lot, and you bum everyone else. I do not wish to be the bummer. Uh. <laughs> ah, a boy! Ew, he smells. So, you boys enjoying being girls? It's the best! Girls rule! Girls, 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 girls! Are you done? G -g 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 girls! 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 Something strange is happening to me. When did I start being so nice? Friend Raven, do you have a moment? Uh, of course I do. <clears throat> I realize you have the doubts about my engagement, but the Chili and I hope you will join us for the wedding. Of course I won't. Miss your wedding, Star. Really? I was having the second thoughts, but if you are so supportive, it must be the right thing to do. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Wonderful! Oh, the chili will be so happy to hear we have your blessings. Chili! Ah! <laughs> so you get my little pun now? Remember? Have a nice day? I cursed you so you could only be nice. Why? To force you to make a decision. Be nice or be mean. No more of this mean stuff. It's not a word. <sighs> Thank you for taking an interest in me, but I'll have to get back to you. Very well. 
Before I go, can I get a hug? Uh, oh. oh, that's a good one. Now who's the best daddy in the world? You are. <laughs> I kind of like you this way. Let's face it, guys. The girls are better than us. They're stronger, faster, smarter. They're our superiors in every way. We shouldn't let a day go by without thanking them for even noticing that we're alive. <laughs> On behalf of all boys, I want to apologize for our actions. Thank you, Robin. It's cool. But you know what, Robin? Only a boy can make such an amazing speech! Boys rule! <laughs> You know, you guys are disrespecting the fountain with all your horseplay. Lighten up, bro. Come on in. No way. What if the Justice League catches us? Who cares? They'd never let me join if they caught me swimming in their fountain. I did not know you wished to join the League of Justice. It's always been a dream of mine to be part of a first-rate superhero team. It will take me to the first-rate team. I'd give anything to be a member of the Justice League. Wow. So touching, Cyborg. But you do know if they took anyone, it would obviously be me, right? So stop worrying and get in here. It feels great. Ooh, I just found a warm spot. Ew. This warm water is really relaxing my muscles. Mm. That's the warm embrace of justice, bro. I would like the embracing of the warm justice. Uh, no, you really don't. In fact, we should all get out now. Good idea. Since today is so special, I think Cyborg should live his dream. Come on, buddy. I'll introduce you to the Justice League. <laughs> Everyone, may I have your attention, please? I'd like to say a few words. This chilly wedding is super dumb. There, someone had to say it. <gasps> I knew this chili wasn't good enough for you! Ha! I was kind of thinking that, but I didn't want to be mean. Me too, brah. Me too. You have ruined the chili wedding, Raven! <sighs> Thank you. I did not really love the chili. Well, someone had to be the mean one. There, there, Chili. I know it hurts now, but the right girl for you is still out there. Come on, let's go grab some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Star? <laughs> no, it has happened again. What? A misunderstanding. Beast Boy asked me to set him up on the blind date. My eyes, my eyes! Ah! Why did you blast my eyes? Hopeless. Okay, wow. Do you want me to teach you some stuff? But will that make me the bum? No way. Knowledge is power, girlfriend. I'll give you a crash course in all things Earth. I would prefer a course without the crashing. Which brings me to lesson one. Common expressions. You don't have to take everything literally. You see, Star, it's all about adding a little style into what you're trying to say. Here's how you do it. Don't say what you mean, but mean what you say. It sounds complicated, but it's easy in every way. Don't say you're gonna sleep, nah. -uh. Instead, you're catching Z's. Never say that things were easy, no. Just say that they were a breeze. Instead of saying, watch how you spend. Say money don't grow on trees. You say what you gotta say every day With style, that's the key Don't say what you mean But mean what you say It's not that complicated No, it's easy in every way Uh-huh You got this You got it? I believe I understand Your song was so kitten, dude Kitten? Yes, the kittens are good, and so your song was good. Am I not meaning what I say? Ugh, clearly a song is not gonna do it. Oh, oh it is the okay. My ignorance will 
always hold me back. Okay, okay. Lesson number two. Azerath Metrion Zindos. Wear this magic relic tonight, and in the morning you'll know everything. I checked the weather, and today has all of the perfect conditions for a plague day! Jet skis! Yes, Water. Pollution. Yeah, 46% of lakes are too polluted for recreational activities. Ugh, why are we talking about numbers on lake day? Because numbers reveal undeniable facts, Beast Boy. Like 1.2 trillion gallons of sewage are dumped into lakes each year. Sewage? Make a stop, Robin. These facts are bumming me out. What's gotten into you, Starfire? Knowledge, Robin. That's what. Raven, did you have something to do with this? I may have taught her a few things. I was just trying to help. This is what I wanted, Robin. Now you won't have to deal with me ruining another occasion. You just ruined my day! Knowledge is power, Robin. This will only make her stronger. You guys want to know where hamburger meat comes from? <laughs> I have the joy! That was the most enjoyable of videos. Another, please.